Growing up, our family did not have a lot of photo albums. In fact, I can't remember a single one. What we did have, however, was a few shoeboxes full of photos, just piled together completely unsorted. And every now and then, on a rainy afternoon, we just go through them. We kids would pull out random photos and our mum would say, Oh yeah, that's your granddad, or that was a lovely day at the zoo. I cherish those memories, which is probably one of the reasons why printed photos have special value to me. There's something about having a physical photo in your hand that a screen just can't replicate. Printing a photo makes it tactile and real. That's why I like to print. And of course, I can't frame every photo I take. The space in our home is quite limited. And that's why I have these. Diaries of Creation. Every year, I print a photo book just for myself. It's not for sale or anything like that. I only make one copy. And what I do is, I select my favourite photos from the year and then I print a book. And when I started doing this, I, I never really considered the benefits. I just thought it would be a nice idea to have some prints. But now that I've been doing it for a while, I've realized how much value it actually adds to my photography for me personally. Firstly, my photo books are a great source of inspiration. Whenever I'm feeling stuck or lacking motivation, I can just flip through them. And I can remind myself of all the great shots I've taken. It's a visual reminder of what I'm probably going to find if I grab my camera and actually go outside. Secondly, it's just really nice to have a physical collection of my work. In a world where everything is digital and incredibly fast paced, it's easy for photography to get lost in the shuffle. I mean, I have an Instagram page and I post pictures there, but it's just not the same. We don't really seem to appreciate photos that much anymore. But having printed photos slows the process down. There is actually something there to see and to touch. And finally, printing my photos gives me a goal that I can work towards. Knowing that I'm going to print a book at the end of the year and also frame some of my photos motivates me to keep shooting and to keep improving. It's a tangible goal that I can work towards and it gives me a, a sense of accomplishment when I actually hold the printed photos in my hands. So if you're a hobby photographer like me, whether it's macro or any other photography style, I would highly recommend printing out your photos. It doesn't have to be a huge book or a fancy framed print. Just something that you can hold in your hands and enjoy. Just like the shoebox of family photos we used to have. Because there's something truly special about seeing your photos come to life on paper. Actually touching them and feeling them. And this is especially true for large scale prints of macro subjects. After all, photography was not invented to create thousands and thousands of files that just live on a hard disk and never see the light of day. It was made to be seen and enjoyed. Okay, I guess it's time to address the elephant in the room. My last video kind of exploded a little bit.
To be honest with you, I was expecting that video to get maybe a thousand views and that would have been a success for me. And now last time I checked, it's over a hundred thousand views, which is insane. But not only is it a hundred thousand views, there are a bunch of new people here, two and a half thousand new subscribers. If you subscribe to this channel because of that video, you are awesome. Heck, if you subscribe to this channel for whatever reason, you are awesome. Glad you're here. Hi, my name is Joe. This YouTube channel is called Diary of Creation. And this YouTube channel is all about macro photography, taking close up pictures of tiny things, spiders, insects, and so on. To be completely honest with you, I don't really know where this whole YouTube channel thing is gonna go. Um, I'm glad you've subscribed and you're along for the ride and I guess we'll discover it together what happens. I have a few ideas for some videos that I want to make. Um, one of them is a sequel to the extreme macro video that I already posted. Um, I have an idea how I can combine more things, a, a teleconverter and the wide angle lens I'm using to film this video which should get me even closer and give me more magnification. A kind of crazy setup, but I think it will work. And if it does, then um, I'll make a video about it and then I can show you just how uh, crazy that thing is. So anyway, all I wanted to do is say hi to all the new people and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you have any ideas for videos about macro photography in general, or about spiders or insects, anything really, then just post a comment. I'm pretty sure that your ideas are going to be better than my ideas. So it would be lovely to hear them. That's all I really wanted to say for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I guess I'll see you soon.